All right, and welcome back. We're actually here at Olga's Beard, having returned from Boulder's Gate previously. And uh, actually, at this point, Lily wants to see if she can't find Chandelar. He teleported away. We understand that he lives here in the hamlet. Um, so I think she's hoping that maybe one of these buildings, well, it might actually be that mushroom business <laughs> we read about. But uh, so we're actually going to knock on a few doors. A simple matter. And see if we can't find him. Fortunately, there's real no indication of what each building is. Well, I think we'll go on the yes, assumption. I agree. This group could do with a swift kick in the morals. I think we'll go with the assumption that a locked door means a personal residence. We'll probably reserve those uh, if we can't find him elsewhere. I, th I think Olga's beard reminds uh, Lily a little bit of Gullikin. Doesn't quite like it. Alright, this look actually looks like a barn. Thorella. Well, <laughs> I think Lily's assuming that that's not Chandelar's wife. Such <laughs> Fine. We're surprised to see this. We thought the a only matter. store we're in was the one that we were in. This looks like another one. By Tempush, it is a fine day to die. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. All right. What? So we'll check downstairs. Fine. Oh, that's wholly unexpected. All right. <laughs> Looks like an ar Fine. arcane. Oh, like a magic circle here on the ground. Wow. False doors along the wall. I don't know what this means. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. It's certainly suspicious. I'm gone. I think well, at least, uh, I think it might have something to do with Chandelar. Yeah, a lot of false doors. But nobody downstairs either. Checking for traps. I think Lily uh, is going to actually <laughs> send Minsk out. Enter that circle. See what it's about. Doesn't seem to be trapped though. No. Cool. What is your command? Just in case, uh, I think nature is all. Faldorn's gonna bless Minsk. <laughs> you point butt kicking for goodness. <laughs> I guess it was nothing. Okay. She had that suspicion something might happen. Yes. But obviously not. A simple matter. Okay. <laughs> Such menial tasks. She's gonna have, I think, everyone look through these shells. What you want? I've done had enough of this. See if there is. Might not be a clue about what on earth is going on downstairs. Startled everybody. Ah, okay. So 
We don't know what this is about. What is it? Such menial tasks. Fine. Well, I think there was one other building by the docks. I think there was uh, even somebody standing outside. Let me see what that's about. Yeah, Fenris. I'm sure this might be his home. Two, four, who were missing somebody? Oh, man. What? Hello? Let's talk I more am fight. One with nature. Faldor. Yep. Do you want something? Alright, so speaking with uh, Fenris. Away with you, beggar! Alright, Fenris Bulan. Can I actually ask about Durlag's tower? I think Lily's gonna do that. <laughs> He's saying it's a wonderful tour, though, so much steep in price. Alright, so asking about how the tour went. All right, mentioning Durlag Troll Killer. A great hoard of treasure. Rooms full of gems. Dusty heaps of gold coins. All right, mentioning the doppelgangers and lithid mind flayers. After the lithids fled, Created an elaborate succession of traps, magical wards, secret passages, sliding prison chambers, and triggered weapons. I think we had a taste of some of those things already. All right, at length he died, and presumably his bones still lie in some inner room, guarded by thousands of deadly traps. I think Lily's guessing that Soul Taker, the dagger, is probably with his remains. <laughs> You're recommending that we take the tour. Actually, it looks like he did go into that house. Okay. Saying here that Durlag disappeared within its depths. I think we knew that. We didn't find any evidence of him upstairs in the lo uh, upper levels. Assuming that he's probably at the bottom. Okay. Yes. A simple matter. Just in case this wasn't his house. Mendes certainly isn't uh, Chandelar. I must be speaking to you. Listen, please. All right, Mendes of Waterdeep, asking a favor of us. He's claiming to be a gentle fellow in search of knowledge. I think Lily respects that, but she's <laughs> curious what he'll be willing to pay. Offering 2,000 gold pieces, which is actually the same amount that uh, the dwarf offered for a soul taker. I think uh, she's at least willing to hear what he has to offer. Alright, he's calling the Merchant League, uh, Bad Men, as he puts it. They found an island to the west. I guess with a shipwreck. And they think it's Baldurin's. Baldurin being the hero that gave, uh, Baldur's Gate its name. They think... okay. Baldurin had a lot of treasure, I guess, on his final voyage. This is starting to spark uh, interest <laughs> for Lily. It's 
especially for somebody as famous as Baldurin. 